Welcome back. It is winter in Norway. It's a beautiful winter actually. Finally we got it and uh, today and then this video I'm going to have you meet a buddy of mine. He's going to talk about his passion in life, how important it is to follow your passion and your dreams like he did in filmmaking. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, this time I wanted to really have a proper conversation with a buddy of mine. This jellyfish, um, you haven't been here for a long time, by the oh, way. I haven't. Many you months. Know, no, you know, the reality just passed. And, you know. well, yeah, we actually went through a dimensional shift. Yeah. Uh, no wonder. Welcome back anyway. Thank you. We're still in the game. Yeah. Yes. I wanted to talk to, what's your name, by the way? I forgot. I am Tauld. Okay. It's Tarold. the same as Harold, just with a T in front. With a timeout in front. Yeah. Okay. Um, and um, we, I wanted to talk to him about passion, because um, as being you know, one of my buddies for many years, um, we have been working on film production for a long time. And um, one of the things with you is that you have been doing this since you were a snot kid. Yeah. And didn't know crap about movie making. Yeah. But you have had a passion. Yes. Right? Yeah. So that's the topic for today, and uh, I think it all is a good example. Yeah. Well, well thank you for that. Well, <laughs> you're welcome. Yeah. Yes. I may get my reward in heaven, I believe. Yeah. Um, uh, when did the interest start? Well, the interest started actually when I was six. Uh, I went to a theater with my parents, and I remember sitting on the front row. And I could, you know, watch up in the ceiling and see the lights coming and how the light changed and moved on the scene in that uh, play. Mm. <clears throat> but obviously, on that time when I was six, I couldn't really, you know, see. Or I didn't decide what this was or if it was, you know, television or, you know, what I wanted to work with. But what I knew was that uh, it was about telling story visually that you can use light and you can use, you, you can manipulate the reality, mm. sort of. So I will say the actual passion started when I was six. And now you're making money of this. Yeah. In a way. Yes. Well, we have been doing some jobs ourselves, you know, some years back. I remember we had a few years with action, flying helicopters and big boats and... Yeah, that was times. Yeah, that was pretty fun. Uh, the thing is that uh, because you know we're talking about passion, I talk to people about you know finding their passion and you know expanding their mind through self mastery and become more and do more of your you know without uh, outside of the system in a way. And uh, with your story, I'm thinking that you had such a burning desire for your interest that you just found your own way. Yeah, I kind of went my own path, uh, sort of. It was not uh, accepted. Uh, sort of to you know uh, follow passion a lot of people are telling you what to do and have a high expectation of what you are going to be become or what you are going to be when you mm. or work with when you go up but uh, and a lot of people follow that I think and that's that's not good mm. because uh, if you have a passion you should pursue your passion really I yeah know. Did you make a lovely breakfast for us? Mm-hmm. Fuck. Make it. No. Let 
the hell? What the fuck? I don't think we're getting out today. This snow's covering the jams in the door. Okay. <laughs> okay, I think we're just staying inside today. Good morning. Good morning. How did you sleep? Uh, really good, actually. Uh -huh. you now, it's strange because at this place I'm dreaming a hell lot of dreams. What about that? Okay, though that we <clears throat> almost even can't open the door, and there's a blizzard outside, and we probably can't get the car out. We're going to a coffee shop anyway and try to do some work today. Yeah. I'll go out and just hear her out. Yes. Yeah. You ready for your tea? Yes. Whoops. It's a lot of snow ahead, so we'll see about that. Yeah. You think we're going to get through? Yeah, I think so. thinking uh, since you're visiting now I mean it's been a long time it's been many months yeah yeah didn't you miss That's talk to me about film production and cameras and gear and stuff I do oh I did okay yeah yeah, yeah. so and therefore I'm, I'm here now you know oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah I think it's uh, important to talk about passion because eventually I think every people has it but they don't follow the dreams really they think okay I have a passion about something but then not pursuing their passion and I think a lot of people should do that a lot more people should follow their passions So we're at the cafe, we had a, a pizza, it's a Sunday dinner, and now we uh, set ourselves up with some work, coffee, uno cake. What was your first camera? My first camera was a Canon cover called the uh, X72. Uh, and I think it costed me than two thousand dollars at the time, and uh, and all the people were were like saying, "Are you buying a camera for your money?" Uh, because um, other people were buying uh, more pets and uh, boats and stuff like that. But I, I I thought, okay, I'm going to buy a really good camera. Also, my parents thought it was a bit stupid to buy such a professional camera that it was it was a semi-proof camera uh, and that was at the age of 14 and I start filming you know I start filming just everything sunset I <laughs> went on parties with that camera and I, I filmed uh, everyday things you know yeah so I have a huge bunch of different on old uh, DV tapes from when I started out and then I just learned everything uh, by myself because um, you know these days if there's something or is there or some question you have you can just google it or you can just use YouTube and probably a guy has already done it so you get the answer really fast but at that time you, need, you, you needed to figure things out yourself so I always you know try to I, I watched a lot of films that I liked and I tried to replicate that into my camera and also tried to find you know uh, a style of my shooting that I liked and from there it's just 
you know, I found my passion. I just knew that this was my way in life. This was the way I wanted to go. And this was something I wanted to work with. Yes, that was a nice few hours on the coffee shop. We got some things done. Checked out some content creation workflows in Final Cut Pro, which we both, you know, I'm trying to get all over to uh, Final Cut Pro uh, because all the cool guys work with Final Cut Pro. And when you're on Mac, uh, I wouldn't see uh, why. And why the fuck do you want to work in Adobe Premiere? It sucks the energy of them. So I think, it would, yeah. what do you think about Final Cut Pro, Tom? Okay, we need to have another conversation and uh, we'll see. And uh, sometimes I talk about this thing with self-education because there's so many things you can do in life. Uh, it's um, some of the, you know, part of the message I want to put out on my films is that uh, there's so many things you can do now through self-education. Yeah. I mean, you, you went to a school once. You, you went to two, con two different schools Yeah. related to media and film. Yeah, but that was... Uh, mostly f for network building. Mm -hmm. I went on the weekends to film different stuff. And even though, you know, YouTube didn't exist at the time. Mm. It was just television. Yeah. All good television. So to you really, you know, uh, show people what you could do, you needed to have that way into the network, the tel television. Well, that's a clue, I think, because if you can teach yourself a craft um, and you do it for free until you get paid for it, that must be a way. Yeah, I guess. Because mm. I mean, I didn't, I didn't do it to be to got paid. You know, it's it was because it was more like playing because that was my passion. Yeah, fire of desire. Yeah. So yes. at that time, I, I didn't, I, I didn't, you know, got up a plan for. How can I make money out of it and, you know, how can I earn? That was not my attention at all. I just wanted to have fun hmm. and I just wanted to learn. Just learn, learn, learn. And know my camera and, yeah, create things. Okay, so so uh, for people, I mean, film uh, production or filmmaking now is so much easier. I mean, we have these new cameras. This is one of your cameras, yeah. right? What is this? This is the Sona mirrorless camera. This is actually the Alpha camera 6300. And uh, this small camera actually shoots uh, full 4K. Well, so, that's sexy. Yeah, I mean, even your phone shoots 4K. Yeah, my my yeah my iPhone 7 Plus shoots actually 4K. Yeah, so I mean the technology has just come so far from just 10 years ago. It's uh, it's amazing. So okay, so so let's say that somebody. I mean, a lot of people want to do creative stuff. Um, and uh, when it comes to, I mean, there's a lot of areas with, within film production now, or filmmaking you can do. Maybe you just want to make some documentaries. Maybe you, you want to do a feature film or kind of a cinematic film. Maybe you can, um, when it comes to making money at least, uh, maybe uh, there would be companies that would need for social media or for their website or whatever. Uh, and I'm sure that one of the viewers having a look at this video here would maybe wonder how they can start that because this is what you're doing now you're making money of this yeah your passion yes i do i'm really you're free to, yeah i'm free i'm yeah. lucky to do and what this i do like time. Yeah. and love so if somebody if a new person if a young person wants to um break out of the shitty job they have now or maybe they don't do anything or maybe they don't fit into school what's let's say three steps yeah what should they do well the first step is just follow your passion uh, and be true to yourself, you know, because I know a lot of people that have said to me, oh, you're so lucky, you can, you work with what you love. 
But you know, I just followed my passion. You get a lot of no's, and that's 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 how it is. You mm. get a lot of no's, and you get um, turned down sometimes. And but you know, you just need to uh, just do it again anyway. Yeah, mm. go on with it because you know you're yeah. you're good at it. So <clears throat> the first step will be just trust trust yourself. Really, just uh, follow what your passion is and believe in yourself. I guess if you have that passion, you have the energy and the drive yeah. to continue. Yes. Just don't give a shit what anybody else is saying. If you want no, to do this, continue. I mean, it's mm. your life. And, you know, you can take advices, of course, but, but mm. at the end, you need to decide. No, no one else can decide it for you because you are living your life. And uh, that's really important, I think, because why should you live another's life when you can live your life? So just trust yourself, because a lot of people don't really trust themselves, or they think, oh, I could do this, but I don't know if I'm good enough, and I can tell you, you are good enough, if you just, the, the only person that can stop you is yourself. Okay, so it's uh, Saturday evening, we're heading out in the winter night to get some sushi. Let's hope not that the sushi is not frozen today. <sighs> Someone must have passion in uh, religion because that church is way too big for this city. Yes, this is the place. Look like fingers, but yeah, I tasted them. Really good. Old fashioned money, old fashioned money. Get in there. Yeah, you want something? I won. So we have another event coming up tonight. Oh, we're looking forward to that. We have a very special movie we want to watch. A documentary, actually. It's actually crowdfunded, isn't it? I think it is. Yeah, it is. The finance of that is crowdfunding. Yeah. So, yeah. So we both like uh, filmmaking. And uh, we're going to watch a documentary about Fine Cut Pro. That's what we uh, use for editing. Tal uses some Premiere and some uh, Da Vinci Resolve. And I use Fine Cut Pro. Lovely. It's going to be lovely. So what are you guys thinking about breakfast tomorrow? Breakfast? Wait, breakfast. Breakfast. Wait, fast. Yeah, breakfast. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we have some breakfast. cereal. We're using almond milk, of course. No dairy. Yeah. That sucks. Um, so I think it would be fine. Marbella is good in making magical breakfast. Yeah. And uh, we're going to have something for dinner tomorrow. What do elves elves eat? Elves? Yeah. Uh, only green leaves. Oh, only yeah. Green leaves. Yes. Do you guys eat only green leaves? I was thinking, Tavo, since you're a food uh, maniac, yeah. what do you expect to be served now while we're sitting with us here? Well, I'm uh, expecting a huge pail of food and a long table. And along that table, it's a lot, you know, rice in one of the end and noodles in the other end. And I can just pick and choose, you know? It's not going to be like that. So if you have the passion uh, and you continue to do this, what's the next step? Uh, learn from your mistakes. Don't be afraid. Uh, because as I said, you will get a lot of no's and stuff, but then just continue and if don't be afraid. I mean, you just need to keep going on because eventually mm. something will, you know, if it's meant to, 
if if it's meant to be your your uh, goal in life, then you know there will be a synchronization, maybe. Yeah. So, but it will take time, and maybe you will you will feel you know fatigued or tired and and not going mm. anywhere. But but you know eventually, yeah. Okay, yeah. so let's say you have the passion, and then you learn the tools and the cameras and the equipment, which is really easy to do if you have the passion, I guess. Um, just by learning on YouTube and the World Wide Web. Uh, if you want to make money on this, how could they go on? Create. I think that will be the third thing. Just, just create mm. things, and put it on the web. Put it just. But I mean, my attention is not. Don't brag about it, but but just show people like, oh, I did this cool video, oh, oh I have this cool idea, and just make something out of it and go to people and ask, oh, uh, it's a really nice uh, cafe or restaurant or sushi bar, or whatever you got up here, and ca can I make a film for you? And hmm, you probably do it for free the first time, and that's okay, but then you create something, and what you're creating that will make followers. And uh, eventually, in the end, uh, yeah, I got a huge job because I actually just uh, made a model video, <clears throat> a fashion model video on this camera, actually. Or actually, it was um, the A7S Mark II, but um, anyways. If you look at examples you know on YouTube that we know about now, P uh, Peter McKinnon, for yeah. example, is one of the bigger YouTubers, the biggest YouTubers when it comes to filmmaking and photography. And his background story is one of those that I like to share with people because Peter McKinnon didn't really go to school, he didn't fit in, and he left his job after you know a few years to do his own thing. And uh, the level of uh, kind of professionalism and um, experience and the kind of branding he has now is uh, not from any educational system. It's based on his own passion. And what about Casey, ne Casey Neistat, for example, one of the top YouTubers? He dropped out of school very early, ran away from home, but he's now one of the more famous filmmakers in his own format. So like when you said, as long as you continue and people start to doubt themselves, I'm thinking, what if you're one of you guys listening here or looking at this video now, watching this film now, um, may suddenly discover um, a kind of totally different style of branding in your shootings. You will stand out anyway. Yeah. Find your own voice, sort of. Yeah. Yeah. Visual voice. See, hmm. see, 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 see what other people do, obviously, but don't replicate it. Find your own tone and your own color palette and your own mm -hmm. way of editing, I think it's important. Um, so one thing I've been thinking about, a, a lot of people have been talking to me before, uh, well, you're lucky to have a camera that can do so much cool stuff. Um, what do you say to those people that don't have the tools? Yeah. Those that only have the excuses? Well, not everyone has a camera like this and stuff, but what you probably have is a phone. And like this one? I like that one. And I mean, the technology today is so <clears throat> everyone can take pictures and everyone can film with their phones and stuff. Mm -hmm. And it's just, uh, you know, you don't need to stop yourself because you don't have or you don't feel you have the equipment for creating stuff because um, that is no excuse. The, the phone is making uh, really good uh, images. Yeah. And it's not really about the equipment uh, in the end, it's more about the story you're telling and how you're telling the story that comes in the end. Storytelling is a hot theme. Yeah. yeah. One of your YouTube uh, films recently was entirely shot on your phone, wasn't it? That's true. Um, I came from uh, Oslo in Norway and we got picked up by a buddy of mine, me and um, my girl uh, Marbella, and I forgot the camera in his car. And one of the days we had such beautiful winter landscape, probably, I should probably link that video to in this description here. But we used this one, iPhone 7 Plus, 
and uh, I used both um, back and front camera and uh, it worked well I mean this one shoots 4k so yeah the only thing I have noticed and since you're cinematic in your movie creation process too many people are used to holding their phone like this and they film like this but don't do that wrong film is landscape yes this is landscape so um, yeah yeah everybody has a phone yeah so there's no excuse for not creating no cool yes well um, go out there shoot something and let and show it to the world may the force be with you guys thank you for coming thank you for stopping by thank it was you nice to have a visit again thank you yeah I'm leaving now Clark meeting. The energy was really good and uh, yeah so now I just need to write them an offer and uh, also a little um, pitch <coughs> for what we're going to do. So the good thing about this film is that I am you know I need to connect people I need to find you know actors in the film I need to you know, find models in the film and also, you know, structure the whole uh, the whole story. And that's quite exciting. Right now we're out, uh, we took a stop. We're going to do some drone shots today with um, Tal. We got a beautiful evening sunset light. It's actually two different colors in two different directions. Kind of uh, purplish in that, blue-purple. And we got... Um, kind of the sunset in that, that direction which is orange yeah. I think it would be nice to do the drone shots here right yeah we got some nice light okay.